Hi, welcome back to Queen Wapak Creations tutorial videos. In today's video, I'm going to show how I do square stitch pop sockets. Um, the, I used some Nymo size 0 beading thread, size 12 beading needles, size 11 cut seed beads, and a blank pop socket to attach the beadwork to. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video. <coughs> So in order to do the circular square stitch, get a workable length of thread. I use size 9 with 0 because I have to do pass throughs. I'm going to start with 8 beads. I'm going to go back through the these eight beads so that I can put them into a circle So I'm gonna I tied a knot there and then I'm gonna tie it again. So I and then I'm gonna pass through I pass through a couple of beads and pull that pull that knot through. So it's kind of secured inside there. Now I'll pick up one bead and the spot where my thread is at, I'm going to go across, count four, go across and go through. That fourth bead. So my thread is coming out this way. I want to go through this so that my thread is kind of going in the same direction, kind of, so that that bead will lay flat in the center. Now that is my base for my circular square stitch, and I'm going to take off this tail because I have it in a knot, and then it, I won't get caught up in it, and it won't be in my way while I'm doing this. And my next row, I'm just going to alternate to do the circular square stitch. I'm going to go, I'm coming out this bead right here, but I want to go through this one right here. And I'm putting on two beads, and that will be my increase for the, this next row. And then I'm going to just continue that blue and white. I'm going to go through that next bead. And I'm going to come up through and go through those two beads. And palm snug so I sit right next to the last before. I'm going to put these last two in there and when I go past through back through them I'm going to continue on and go through the next two and that will connect that whole row. I'm going to kind of roll that through my fingers. Pull a little. Okay, and that's 
row two. Uh, let's see, the square stitch design there. And now the next row, we will be uh, doing the increase. And <clears throat> when, as you go wider, your increase will be in the same spot the point where you're going to increase is going to stay the same and it is going to be the point of your star if you can if you can see that real clear there's one blue bead there two beads one two one two one two one two now each one of those is an increase so each one of these points is where you increase the rows to get it larger. And if you can see that, now I got this um, graph, pa graph um, paper from Beadographer, and that's how it's set up when you do a medallion in the Beadographer. Bead you can do it for free. You don't need to pay. You can upgrade if you want, but so that's how you increase on all these points and then the rest of these you're going to go straight um, square stitch so two blue we'll go start we'll be going on the blue one is where our increase will be so we're going to do two beads i got two blue beads on there so there will be two blue over every white bead and then I mean every <laughs> two blue over every blue bead and one black over every white <clears throat> and that's how you will <clears throat> and that's how you will increase or row three. All right, I am at the end of the third row and I need that one more black to go in. And when I come through that one more black, I'm gonna go straight through to Maybe <laughs> straight through to that next black. And so I can secure that row. Good. So that's your third row. On the fourth row, we're going to start um, the increase that will happen is going to happen right here. But it's kind of tricky, so we're going to do a blue over the black. And there needs to be these two black over the, and a blue, but these these two black are going to be inside there because that's the increase on this next row. So the increase on the, this, the row we just did is just two over one. Now we're going to put one over these two, but increase with these two on the side. And in order to do that, we're going to use the same bead so here's the two we need to use. So the black, I'm gonna go through this blue bead on the left and, and now I'm going to put one blue bead and go through both of these blue beads. 
So we're using these, um, the two beads in the previous row. We're gonna use them twice. So now I need a black one to go through the blue bead on the right. Okay, now that's your increase for row four. And then your next blue bead will go over that black. And that's how you're going to do an increase. And you're going to do this whole this increase over each one of these double so a black i need to go through the bead on the left a blue to go through both A black to go the, through the bead on the right. And that's your increase. And then a blue to go over the black. Now that is starting your, your star. that is starting to start to go to a point because it's going to go to in your points or where your increases are okay so you'll just continue that all the way around so the next row we will be starting we'll be doing um, one blue over the black and then our increase here is going to be two black over this one blue and that's the increase for this row and then I'm going to just do the single square stitch until we get to the next point. And repeat that all the way around. So that increases just to two over one. And then we'll begin our white to start that the white star point. And then we blue. And then we're back to two black or the blue for the increase there. And then just continue with the blue and the white so single square stitch these because you want to have the um, expansion of the increase rows so that 
it will go in that circular and grow. And then I'm to the end of that row. And I'll put on that last blue and white. And that will close up this row. So I'm going to go through that white one and go through back to the next white so that that row is completed. And that is where increase points are. And then just complete that design all the way up to where the um, diamond shape has that blue in the middle and then there's one and then two rows those the next two rows will go over the edge of the pop socket so there's one that I did that you can see the two rows of wet plat go over the edge of the pop socket to attach it so I'm kind of going to rough up the top of this pop socket so to um, attach easier and I use um, Gorilla Glue I'll put that Gorilla Glue right there in the middle and kind of put that the beadwork right on there and you can just you let it set and let it dry. Um, I'm pretty impatient, so I kind of added some Elmer's glue because Elmer's glue is sticky, but Monster's glue, Monster glue holds better, but it takes longer to dry. So um, now we'll have that glued on there, and we'll be able to start those next two rows to go over the edge and attach it to the pump socket so and our increase points are still in the same place so our increase on this row will be two over one so we'll have two blue that go over this one white And then <laughs> maybe get it through there. And it's going to go over the edge. Um, still kind of wet, so move it around. But um, that's the increase on that row. And make sure that it's bending over. But I want it to pull together on this row. So I'm going to do two beads instead of the single square stitch. So I'm going to do two beads. But I'm going to go through, back to three. Now this is how I normally do my square stitch. So two beads on, back through three, catch that third bead and come forward through those three. And that pulls it together tighter because I want it to pull together so that it will go over the edge of this pop socket easier. And so two beads on, back to three but there's one single bead I want to put that single bead on there because um, I want to make sure I get this black I guess it's still kind of there's some 
pretty impatient. So anyway, it's it's already going up over the edge like it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna keep going. Two beads on. Back to three. And that just continue that all the way around, pulling it snug so that it goes over the edge of that pop socket. And we'll get to the end and make sure you're increasing. And this is the next row. We're going to put that black point on that diamond. I'm just putting one bead on just to show where that point is. But I will do two on and back to three. I don't know why I did that singly, but but two beads on and back to three. And now this I'm going to pull real snug and that's going to fit over the edge and pull down into that um, space there. And uh, there won't be an increase for um, this one because you don't want it to, I don't want it to increase. I want it to fit right inside there and have everything all snug and pull together. So two beads on, back to three, and pull it snug. And make sure it goes over the edge there and then fits right in there. So two beads on, back to three. Catch one of the previous and through the two I just put on. Like I said, that's my normal way of doing square stitch. But let me just um, continue on because we're just doing that black on the point of the diamond and the rest is the blue with no increase in this row because we want it to pull together so it'll fit inside that groove. Um, um, Alright, two on, back to three. Catch one of the previous, the previous bead, and back to the two I just added. And that pulls it more snug and a little bit better. So, and then get And that's an increase that we're not going to worry about anymore, so I don't know why I put this one on. I should have just, there's two on, which that previous, and back through three, and then I just continue on all the way around pulling that all together and all snug and it will just close right in there and once you're done there's your pop socket the beadwork is just attached right onto that blank pop socket. I do have a few pop socket blanks in my Etsy shop if you'd like to check them out. And so that's our video today. I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you learned something. Please make sure you um, come join us in my uh, Creation Corner Beading Circle. I have created four different designs that are in my Etsy shop. There's also the design we did today with written instruction for you to purchase if you're interested so you can just go check out 
my Etsy shop at www.quinwellparkcreations.se.com. I'll provide the link in the description. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video so that I can continue to provide you this wonderful information. See you next time.